So I was watching a YouTube video with some pretty high level content and I was really excited by it, but in reading the comments, I noticed that nobody seemed to know what fat overly meant. This is kind of the fundamental of oil painting. Um, it's the thing you hear, it's the thing everybody remembers, but nobody seems to understand what it actually means. So I thought I'd put up a bit of a video to explain the difference because it is counterintuitive. When we think of fat, we tend to think of thick. Um, this is not always what it means in oil painting. Uh, the main idea is to remember the things that you actually use to thin oil paint with. So you've got three main things that you thin oil paint with. You have linseed oil or some type of other oil like safflower or walnut oil. And these are oily. This is also the binder for your paint. So when you add more of this oil, your paint is fatter. It's thinner. <laughs> it's going to be thinner, but it's also considered fatter. This is what it means. However, where things get really confusing is that linseed oil or safflower oil or walnut oil are not the only things that you can use to thin paint with. You can also use solvents. So if you have odorless mineral spirits or turpentine, eat, don't use turpentine, <laughs> but if you have any of those things, those you'll often use to thin your paint on your first layers. So you can use it to do your underpainting, it dries quickly, and you can paint a thicker, um, and both thicker and fatter layer over top afterwards. This is called lean. So if you use a solvent to mix with your paint, your paint is leaner than your oil paint from the tube. Okay, this is where it gets confusing because sometimes thinner paint is leaner, sometimes thinner paint is fatter, and sometimes it's in between. So in between is if you use liquid. So liquid is a medium that you may use to make your paint dry faster. You can also use it to extend your paint if you wanna have better flow or even to do glazes. Sometimes you'll use liquid. Problem with liquid is that it's both fat and lean. I don't understand how that works. In fact, that information I had to really work to get. I had a student ask me what that meant, and I was like, mm, I'm gonna get back to you. And I did, but I have no idea what it means. I know that it is in between. So there are differences in how you use it. Liquid, you can use basically how you would use linseed oil except that you generally use the same amount throughout your entire painting. However, you can't just use however much you want. You still need to stick within the regulations. I think it's about 70% to 30% um, of paint to liquid. So you still can thin it a fair amount, but you can't go nuts. Um, linseed oil, however, you wanna stick with about 60% paint to 40% linseed oil. Now this is the maximum. So you wanna keep that amount for when you're doing your final layers. So you're glazing, you're adding some little details, you want some fine details, you really need to thin it out. This is when you use more linseed oil. So that's at the very, very end. In between, got a lot of thick paint. So even though the paint underneath is thicker, it's technically leaner.